you got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. Hey, what's going on everyone? Kenan here, and it's time for another Ask Cam Kenan question. But first, I want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. It's just around the corner, and uh, really stoked this year. As you can see, it's a beautiful winter day uh, down here in South Florida. And it's kind of funny because the question I'm going to answer today has to do a little bit with the winter. There are the snow leopards. There they are, just hanging about. There's one. There's two. I like to give you guys a little peek into the animals, uh, even when I'm answering these questions. So anyway, this question comes from Edward Meeks, and he says he lives in South Carolina. And every once in a while in the wintertime, the temperatures get to be about 70 degrees air temp. He wants to know if it's okay to let his tortoises out, uh, or are the ground temps going to be too cold? Now, a couple of days ago, or a few weeks ago, actually, if you go to the Camp Kennan Facebook page, I did a Camp Kennan Live, and I was putting the tortoises away, and we actually had a cold snap. Here's uh, Hercules, the sulcata tortoise, coming over to say hello. So we had a cold snap, and basically, um, it was actually only in the 60s during the day, but I let the tortoises out. Uh, why, you may ask? Well, because there's a discrepancy between the ground temperatures and the air temperatures. And I wanted to get the animals out just so they could exercise and stuff. Look at Hercules, he's the best. You're the best, Herc. I love this guy, look at him. Friendly sulcata, he likes his head scratched. Anyhow, so what you need uh, for me to answer this question and to help you all along is a temp gun. Okay, so I have this temp gun. It was given to me by my friends at Pro Exotics, Robin Marklin and Chad Brown. Uh, it is their device. Go to tempgun.com and you can pick one up. Uh, and basically it's a laser thermometer. You can get these at Home Depot, wherever. Uh, but you wanna, you wanna do uh, temperature readings of the ground and of the air. So let's have a quick look at the air. Let's see what the air temperature is today. Check it out. It's 75 degrees. It's coming in backwards here on the uh, flipped selfie cam, but it's 75.6 degrees. All right, now let's go into the sun and take a temperature of the ground and see what the ground temps are. All right, look at that. 10 degrees more, it's 85 degrees. So if a tortoise is hanging out in direct sun, there can be a 10 degree difference between the air temp and the ground temps or the ground uh, or the area just above the ground. So that means that these guys are absorbing solar radiation differently if they're laying out in the sun. Let's see what his shell temp is. Look at this guys. He is 90 degrees. Isn't that incredible? The air temp's only 85, but because he's been out in the sun, that shell's got a nice coloration, it absorbs the heat, his shell temp is 90 degrees. So to answer your question, if it is 70 degrees and it, he is in direct sun, your leopard tortoises are in direct sun, then yes, you can let them out as long as it's not raining, uh, as long as there isn't a wind chill going on, but it's gotta be 70 degree air temp, take temps of the ground, the ground should be warmer. Another thing you can do that would help out your animals basking, and this is true of any iguanas, uh, some basking lizards, uh, is you can put a black, a black mat out and allow them to uh, go on that black mat. It'll raise their temperature up. They can move about, graze, and do their thing. So that hopefully answers your question. Get a temp gun. You got to check out all these different microclimates. It's so important just because the air temperature is 65 degrees doesn't mean that on the ground the surface isn't warmer. Okay, and that doesn't even mean the, that some of these tortoises aren't absorbing more heat from the ground. Hey, let's just have a look over here. So like I said, it's 75 degrees uh, right now air temp. We got a tortoise that's just basking, just laying out in the sun. Let's see, oh, as I go through here, look at this, it's a small female. Let's see what her temperature is. She's really, she's sleeping, look at her. I don't wanna wake her up. She is at 88 degrees and she's just laying in the sun getting warm. I woke her up, shuck, sorry about that. But this is just a really great way to see the differences. So she's right around 90 degrees also. Uh, and she's just absorbing that. So that's really incredible. They can really get warm just laying out in the sun, making use of the different microclimates. Uh, that being said, if it's 55 degrees, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't let them out. That's when it's just too cold and you don't want to catch them to get pneumonia or anything like that. 
I gotta find my way out of this palmetto thicket. Ooh, I'm wearing shorts. Saw palmetto does not feel good on these little legs. Okay, so uh, there's your question answered there, Mr. Meeks. Um, I hope it was answered adequately. I'd say yes. Go ahead, let your leopards out if it's 70 degrees and uh, get yourself a temperature gun, okay? Now, for all of those folks out there, go to the Camp Cannon Army channel on YouTube. Please subscribe. We are so excited about this. It's a channel for you to upload your animals. I go through, I'm checking them out, I'm liking them. I really love what I'm seeing out there. We're creating a really cool society or community of reptile uh, experts or reptile lovers and you will all become experts soon the more you work with your animals the more you read about them the more you watch videos about them uh, basically guys we're trying to educate everyone on these amazing animals and just for just for a little bit of a, a kind of a, a comparison let's see what these tortoises are at uh, let's see what the snow leopards are at look at that 90.9 almost 91 degrees uh, and they're laying in the sun basking but now we're gonna extend this video here. Hold on a second. Uh, we're gonna extend this video because I wanna see what a dark shelled tortoise temperature reading is. Uh, because, you know, leopards and sulcatas have light shells. Let's see what the galops and aldabra, uh, what their temperature is with those nice dark shells and see if they're absorbing more heat from the sun. And here's Darwin right now. She's right over there. So this is a very informative, uh, episode of Ask Cam Kennan, and we are giving it to you good here, folks. So let's see what Darwin's shell temps are. 97 degrees. Look at that, as I expected. Uh, she's operating at a higher temp. Now, that's not a core temperature. That's a surface temperature. So she's at 97 degrees. Here's uh, Nostradamus. Let's see. Nostradamus is at 93 degrees. So... There you have it. Uh, everyone is nice and warm. Again, today's temps, uh, the air temp, if I just take an air temp, we're getting about 85 over here. So uh, you can see they're a few degrees hotter than the air temperature because they have those black shells. They're laying in the sun and just absorbing all of that great UV light for their bones and they're getting themselves at a nice operating temperature. So, all right, everyone, I'm gonna sign off here. Thanks again for supporting Camp Kennan channel. We're having a great time. Camp Kennan Army, go on over there. Support that as well if you haven't already. And uh, I'll be seeing you again on another video real soon. And uh, Merry Christmas. All right, everyone. This is Kennan. Edward, your question has been answered, I hope. See you later.